Hi, it's Mick here from Infinity Innovations and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the weather optimize feature which we have on the Hanshu ESS app. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want you to do is open the app and then from your home page here I want you to go down to the bottom and click device. Again, in all the devices that are shown here, I need you to make sure that you have the inverter selected and then simply click on the inverter picture to activate the real-time data. So from here, I want you to hit remote control. Go down to energy setup, which is a second option down. On work mode at the top, it'll say self-consumption. Just click that and then put that down to user defined. Once that section has been identified, you'll then be able to see your uh, charge time periods. I want you to ignore these and I want you to go down to weather optimize. So usually it will be like this because it's not activated. So simply on the right hand side to the weather optimize heading click the tab there confirm that you're switching that on and that will activate the weather optimize so if you're obviously this is to be used when you're charging from the grid so what we need to do is put your start time in of when you'd like to charge so for this video i am going to use the octopus go settings which i know are 12 30 midnight to 5.30 in the morning. So that's your charge times. So that means that every night between those that period there, uh, the batteries are gonna charge. Now, depending on what charge levels we wanna set these to, obviously depending on the weather for the following day. So as you can see from the list underneath, we start from sunny, few clouds, partly cloud, mostly clouds, heavy cloud, all the way down to heavy rain. So for instance, if it's gonna be nice and sunny tomorrow, um, you may only want to charge your batteries up to 20%. So you would put 20 and confirm. You know, why would we want to fill our batteries up to 100% when we know that tomorrow morning it's gonna be nice and sunny, uh, which will start filling our batteries up for free because if these are now charged up to 100%, it only means now that we're gonna be um, exporting all that nice free energy that we're generating from our panels, which is a complete waste of time and money. So that set that to 20%. You may wanna set that less, you may wanna send that a little higher, it's entirely up to you. Fewer clouds, we may say, let's do that at 35%. Part clouds, you, you may want to do that to 40 and all the way down to you know heavy rain it's going to be really heavy tomorrow there's going to be no sun it's black clouds so charge my batteries from grid up to a hundred percent and you can pre-populate these as much as you like once they're done they're done but when you find uh, a scenario so you know uh, part cloudy you may have set that to 40 percent when you've finally experienced the part cloudy scenario you can look at the data and go, you know, did I charge too much or did I not charge enough? You can simply come back in and just adjust this to a point where you're very happy with how the system is working. Um, and that's how you set your weather optimizer and that's how you use it. Um, the data is obviously uh, dependent on when you set your app up. Obviously you need to make sure that your uh, address details are incorrect, are in there correctly, sorry, because this will pick it up from your postcode and look at tomorrow's weather based on your postcode area. So just make sure that you're in, you go check your account, make sure that your account details have been set up correctly, uh, and then you can utilize this feature as much as you like. Once that's done, you can simply just come out and press the back button, keep pressing back button, and you can press the home button in the bottom corner there, in the bottom left hand corner, that'll bring you back to your homepage. And that's how you set up Weather Optimize.